Well, hello everyone and welcome to Infection Free Zone with Lonzi. I hope you're all well and been meaning to play this one for a while actually and I've, I've played the basics and uh, kind of learnt the ropes on the game and we're going to get stuck in. So I've played about 20 days and we're going to pick a new spot. And you know what? I think I'm going to do somewhere in Australia. Never been to Australia myself and we've got Melbourne here. I kind of like the idea of doing this. So let's try somewhere around here. I kind of want a bit of a water and actually I don't want it directly in. I don't know. I think hmm, let's just see when we zoom in what we're kind of working with. Holy crap. There's a lot of buildings there. We could make this like something pretty crazy. I'm happy with that. Let's go with that. It says the difficulty is higher in highly dense area. That's fine. We'll be okay. We're going to leave it like this. I'll turn off the tutorial events because I kind of learned most of it. I'm going to leave it as medium and let's get in. The world as we know it is gone. What we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements, loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, or the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. We could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. Well, there we are. Look at that. So we want to choose our uh, base of operations here. Have any issues with the map? No. Let's get rid of that. And we want to pick a headquarters inside of kind of this area. We've got some great places to choose from. What I want to do is actually have a little look at something that may resemble here. So we're basically set way, way in the future, I guess, post zombie attacks. So a few years after it's happened, that's why everything is absolutely destroyed now i'm looking for somewhere where i'm going to be able to fence in okay and i quite like this because of the farmland as well so there's a church nearby headquarters let's try this one right here i like that that gives us a good amount of space and so it begins i'm going to pause it up before i'll well, deal with this transmission let's get rid of that just an ongoing uh kind of thingy so we'll switch channel there we don't care about that we're going to rebuild here We'll get the antenna going in a moment. Just give me a minute, yeah? Send squad to find technical books and bring science. That's fine. So we'll get that so we can research. But welcome yourselves in, guys. Hope you're all well. And, uh, yeah, welcome. I, obviously, as I said before, it's not something I'm uh, massively great at. But I know the trees regrow now. So we're going to build in a lot of wood to start. So we'll start with that. And then we'll start with a shelter. Maybe there. And we'll make a second squad. And there we go. We'll just turn on that stuff so I can kind of see what I'm working with. Um, and we'll send these guys in. And we'll just shift click and get a lot of this searched nearby just to start stockpiling our um, food, weapons, all that jazz. We're on the move. And then we'll get the second squad on the go here as well. And we'll send those this way. Some pretty big buildings here. So we'll start with basic resources. We'll just clear these out so we can kind of pick where we want our square to be. But it shouldn't take them long to bring the resources back from here anyway. So I'm just going to queue up a whole load of them. I'm not in any rush. I kind of want to see where we're at after 100 days. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. 
We'll start with just the two squads, and then the rest are going to be working on. We'll probably max out the scavengers with everyone else. We'll get a nice surplus of wood, and then we'll work on metal afterwards. So we want all of these trees cut down as well. So we'll speed it up a tiny bit whilst they start bringing that in. We've got two weapons. When we get to, If we get to four weapons, I'll make another squad as well. But just the two should be fine. And these guys will go out and basically collect. So they're collecting some ammunition. For those of you who haven't played the game, I'll just slow it down so you can kind of see. So you have food, ammo, weapons. So you can get snipers, assault rifles, shotguns, fuel. So there are cars on the map. We need to try and find one. It will make my life a lot easier. Um, it wants us to go search something over here. There's books all over the place. So we're going to be able to get research really easily here. What I'm going to do is go to... There's a lot of like smaller houses. This one here is a food place. That's a big store of food. We're probably going to want to get, once the housing is done, a cookhouse and some farms. So we'll come into here. We'll go food. We'll get the first field in. I'm going to keep these relatively close to the headquarters here. And we'll make a kitchen this way. So we'll start with two farms. Just there. And then we'll turn this one right here maximum staff two that should be fine we'll make that a cookhouse there and then we'll start basically i think i'll go housing there oh look at that we've got a bit of riot gear in there protectors set of sport protectors so there's a bit of a bit of defense for these guys so one of them will put that on so they're going to grab that now which is ideal if you tab you can go through them as well these guys have got loads to do they're scavenging this one building so yep the more food we can get the better right and then the cookhouse will cook up that six amount that we have. Bags of grain there, look. So as the game progresses as well, we can go really far out, by the way. I'll just zoom. But you can go, um, you can go outside of these for special missions once you've got certain things. But we can go and get, uh, what's it called? Survivors that will be pottering about as well. But we want to be careful. Hopefully get some decent uh, weapons. But yeah, you start off in April. So each day is actually a month on this. I think it goes through month cycles. So, and there you go. And you have this mood bar up here as well, sorry. Let's do it. They don't have their own shelter. We'll sort that. If you click this one here where the citizens are, it tells you which ones are homeless, which ones aren't. So this one houses everyone anyway, so we're fine there. No one's homeless. But five children. Um, one will reach adulthood in three days, so the oldest children will reach adulthood. You can increase that with happiness, by the way, as well. And at night time, they will try and go in. I'm just going to send them back out. I, I don't worry too much. That's when the attacks do come, though. We want to continue to try and scavenge as much as possible through the night. Get a nice surplus and then I can send them out. And then we'll get a uh, one, probably a guard tower in. We'll just come into here. We'll get a wooden tower just to cover this section. So we'll have it. The reason I'm going to have it here is uh, because it'll cover, maybe not there. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Yeah, I want it to cover these buildings here, really. We'll have our first one there. So that should cover our main bulk of buildings. They will Zombies, the hordes come every so often as well, and they get bigger and bigger. Um, they'll come and attack this when it's up as well. And you can set them to not use your ammo. You can set them to just bow and arrows. Now, let's see what we're building here. It's 18. I can turn that down, and we can max out our builders here. So we'll max that. We'll go 18 to builders. And then you see this. We've got farms. So once they're built, we're going to want those doing that as well. So we'll make sure all of this is getting done. And hopefully we get some people in. I'm going to take a little bit of a scout round. There's usually some bigger... Yeah, like this one. These give us armor. Sports shop. Sports shop there as well. We're probably going to want to take this. We do want to take these as well because that's our research ones. And hopefully we can try and find a car on the map as well. You see this icon is for food right there. So if you click on it, it's a restaurant. And it's all taken from Google Maps as well. That's what I love. That's fuel right there. So, we're looking for something that would... Oh, there's a nice park here. We could have built in there. <laughs> there's some really big buildings over here that will come in handy as well. But key, key ones where you'll get good items. If you zoom out, you'll see them as well. There we go. In this one, look, there's a uh, uniform services for facility. So, ammunition, pistol, assault rifle, riot gear, and shotgun. Oh, we're, we're infected incoming. Let's go back. Where are they? Ah, oh, we've seen them over here. The hordes aren't that big. We can deal with that one. You can garrison in the uh, house. Oh, there's a car there. Beautiful. Right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go deal with this. And I'm going to take that car. It's going to make my life so much easier. Right, we're going to garrison in a building. So they're going to come and attack. So we'll get in that building there. And hopefully they'll, they'll shoot out at it when they come. There we go. And if we click on it, we'll see them dying here. Hopefully that before they get in. They're inside with them. 
Apparently they're going to update it soon so you do actually move around the buildings too. We're scavenging that one and then we'll go to the car. So if we grab the car, you can store all your goods inside the boot and it makes it a lot easier. There we go. We now have the car so we can move around a lot quicker. Look at this. So we can officially just do this now and they'll unload into the car. So we'll grab this area then come home. So you should see them as soon as their inventory is full, they'll go and chuck it back into the car. There you go, as you can see there. Beautiful. That means we can go further afield really early. And um, hopefully we can get another car as well. Hopefully find some survivors or something. We found another weapon there too, so we've got another... Oh, hold on. Just going to check this out. What's going on? Get inside. Shoot them. Going inside, they get like that one extra shot or two. They nearly died there. That was close. We should be fine though. They do have a recovery time as well that you need to be careful of, so it's fine. And nighttime, they do come out. I think they go in the buildings in the day. I think we're fine, though. I need to be careful with this one, then. We'll keep them nice and close. And there we go. We're into day two. Six in the morning. They should be coming back out now to do their stuff. Let's make sure we're going here. We want everyone on building, because at the moment, we've got enough wood to do it. And then we'll get them. Oh, we need a little bit of steel. We have 12, so we've got enough for that. And then how much of that's just wood? And to grab steel, we just come down into this area work menu and gather metal or bricks as well. Look how much more stuff we get from that. It's just crazy. Reporting. Yeah, I'm going to take it easy with these guys because we don't want to lose the people. Definitely want to find another car, though, if we can. Because, actually, you can drive and kite them in the cars, too. It's great. Just going to queue these up with a bit more. Actually, I'm going to send them to the car, then this. Right, good amount of buildings being searched, then. And let's just go through the building menu so you can see. So you have headquarters, warehouse, shelter, house, so you can better quality. You have field, barn, cookhouse, cannery, greenhouse. I haven't really gone into barns yet, so I don't know what it's all about. No then tool factory, arms factory, chemical plant. You've got barbed wire, like all defenses here, all different kinds. Then you've got towers. Then you've got antenna, med bay research, weather center, mast. So the antenna we need, obviously, to grab research. Oh, lots of noise coming from underground. They're afraid that it could be infected moving through the sewers and tunnels. We need to bolster our defense to be ready for an attack from within as well. Okay, we'll, be ready. we'll definitely try. What I'm going to do with these guys is unload them in the car. And then with this one, I'm going to send them to go grab the research. We should be okay. They've got an extra bit of protection here. Four handguns. We should be all right. I just want to point out the tower has been built and they've both grabbed, they've grabbed the pistols. Look. So they will use up ammunition. I'm going to allow them at the moment because they're a little bit more powerful than the bow and arrows. The bow and arrows don't use ammo. But they're not very effective, right? Oh, there's some survivors. This is what we want to do. We're going to go over to them, and then we can send them back. Now, there is... And there's the transmission. So, I should be able to take these in. We're going to accept them. So, they'll run off home. That'll give us a few more people. I think it's three. And then we'll go back to over here. I'm going to grab all three of these, and hopefully we can grab quite a good bit of research. Obviously, we're in a really built-up area. So, the amount of stuff we're going to get is going to be pretty insane. Oh, it's a school. Now, if there's anyone from Australia, let me know. Oh, we've got to be careful here. So I'm going to keep a close eye and make sure that we're not getting too injured. I think we're going to be okay. Keep a close eye on them. I might run if they get close to death. Come on. You win that. You win that. Yeah, they're fine. Good. So we'll get them scavenging this building. It'll take a little bit longer to get the books, but that is fine. And we'll go across to our other one, see how, what they're working on. And when these other guys come in, I might make another squad. And there we go. We now have our farm. So we should have a good amount. And then we'll have the cookhouse in a moment to cook that up as well. And we're defending it all with this one tower. So early horde should be okay. And then we're going to get a whole bunch of wood as much as we can. Which we're quite lucky. We do have a good amount around us. So once this one completes, we'll grab part of this forest here as well. And I probably should clear out these ones. So I might grab this one. Come and do these guys. So we can build around this instead. A little bit of a better area. And that should be three that we're getting from that. There we go. So we have a few more. We've got no building happening. We have two homeless. So we're going to want to convert one of them into a shelter now. So let's go ahead and chuck in that one as a shelter. Actually, you know what? Because of the tower, I'm going to do these. I'm going to do that one as a shelter. Just for now. We can move it all around afterwards. 
And then these guys hopefully grab something good out of these as well. And we'll check in on this one. So press tab, it hops back over. 35%. I'm pleasantly surprised by this game. This is one uh, that I did try and get a key for, but I ended up buying it because I really wanted to play it. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I did. I'm really enjoying it. Got about four hours in so far, and there's just something really cool about it. I was playing in my uh, near my hometown, a city near me, previously, and uh, it was it was pretty damn cool that you can do that. All right, with those trees nearly cut down then, I'm going to queue up the next lot here. We're not going to gather the metal yet because I've got no need for it. I'm not going to do too many at a time either. And then we want to figure out our kind of perimeter. Now, I might follow the road. We want a pretty big one. And then bring it maybe around that. Although we could scale it slowly. Just compound this little area. But this is obviously the farm area anyway. So the plan is to try and get to about a thousand pop. Here we go. Here comes the... Uh, get these guys shot down nice and quick with those. Hopefully they don't die. That was a small horde. Probably need you guys to come home just for the night time. Because we're going to get attacked. Let's check in on the other guys. Right, we've got hordes nearby, so we do need to be careful. It's not huge, though, so at the moment we are fine. Not going to go into the other ones yet. We're just going to get enough for the... Uh, probably not the antenna. I'm not sure what I want to research first, but I'll show you now. Whilst we wait for that one. So, we get the medical care. Costs two. You see this? You need to find these books to actually do the research. Basic antenna costs one. We've got chemistry... Arms production, so pistols, not that we need that yet. Tools factory and food. The farming one is improved crop yield on farms, pretty good one. So I'm probably going to go into that one early on. I'm assuming that one. Fertilizer, manufacturer of fuels, and nitrocellulose powder. Basic antenna is pretty good though, it means I can transmit. And then medical care, to be fair, that might help. We'll see though, I, I, I think I'll go into the food. So we'll keep them nearby then, we'll just scavenge a couple of close houses. Uh, just whilst it's night time. No point wasting time, right? And each building size will have different storage capacity too. I might turn another one of these into uh, storage as well. Oh, there we go. We've got another one there. We've got to be careful. So I'll keep an eye on that one. I might send them in if they come closer. Oh, here we go. Let's get inside. We can shoot that one down nice and easy. They'll, they'll just attack the building anyway, so. And this is the hordes that come at night. And there's one nearby. So have we got the books? Oh, look at that. I got five. So look at this. In the car, I'll just show you. You can kind of kite them. So we can just shoot and then back off. It's quite good. So you can kind of use that to your advantage. I'm just going to bring them home, though. There's no reason to uh, stick about. So let's just get them over here. Yeah, we're going to need to deal with these hordes. So third squad would be ideal, to be fair. I might make one with these spare people. Got two guns, right? So we can also take the tower off the guns and those squaddies will then go and grab that. It's an extra extra defense. This should go down nice and quick anyway, so we don't need to worry about it. And then we'll keep the car just nearby. So I'll keep the car by this as defense as well. Those guns, they should come out of the tower in the morning. So we'll take the guns from that one. So I'll keep those in, to be fair. We'll utilize the scavenge once again. All right, let's offload these and get the research done, though. We're going to need to turn one of these into a research center, too. So let's come in. Now we've got the books. We can turn a building into a research center. I'll probably we pop it over here. Job done. Don't you worry. So that costs how much to build? Okay. Eight steel let's do this. and six wood. We've got enough for that one just about. And then I'm going to get these guys back in to the car now. And I'll probably go about doing a bit more with these guys. Maybe go down and get some of that those uh, armors and stuff. I've got to be careful, though, so I might still just keep them the close until the morning. Just gather a bunch of food. Basically, stockpile. Horde over there. They should be fine. Oh, my God. There's a group over there. I just got the achievement for kill 1,000 infected. They must have done that. So I'm going to go over to these guys so we can send them home. They killed the uh, zombies, so I could do with more people. The quicker the better, right? We can chop down a bunch of wood then. Um, I'll make sure the builders are maxed so we get this done and then we can start researching because we've got houses and stuff to do as well and then we'll get another house probably converted and then I'll start to get the wall in maybe I think that's a good idea incoming transmission there we go definitely send those guys home in the morning and then whilst you're out there do you want to grab a couple of those buildings that'd be great and there it is we are into day three so far so good so now these guys should flip, put the pistols back, and then this squad should get them. And I'll recruit a fourth into this squad when these guys get here as well. I'm hoping that will give us enough housing space 
Yeah, that one gives us 22. This one gives us... How much does that give us? 25. So it should... Yeah, it should give us a good amount. Obviously, the bigger the building, the more you're going to get from it, right? There's another group over there that I kind of want to go grab, too. Get in your car. We'll go get them. They're over here somewhere, so I'm going to go look for them. I think they have a chance to turn hostile against you as well, so you do need to be careful. But I'm going to max out scavenging now. Grab these guys nearby, and then hopefully they'll come home. And there it is. We'll grab them. So if you drive over to them, get close enough, they'll basically accept to come in. That's what you want. All right, let's take a look then. So we've got fuel that we're going to need as well. We've got a little bit, to be fair. We should be okay. There's some meds over there. I kind of want this sports gear, so I'm going to go and grab that. So we'll kind of have a bit of a beefy squad here. So we can take a bit more of a beating. And then now we're going to look at getting our second tower up. And I'm actually going to pop it. Where are we going to wall? I think I'm going to put it here. There. Oh, we spotted some people probably on. They could have seen us too. I can't tell if they're friendly. What should we do? I'm going to approach them friendly. With both squads. We'll grab these. Alt click, by the way, does select both. So I'm just going to get them both over here. And we'll just check in with this one just before. Okay, scavenging that one fine. So hopefully we'll get some armor on those guys as well. And they are hostile, so let's get in the building. Because they will kill us. Let's kill them as quick as we can. There we go. Look at all those weapons we just got. Beautiful. Definitely worth it. I don't think we lost anyone. Maybe. Nope, we're good. So I can get one more in there. So we'll get those recruited. And then we'll send you guys home. You're pretty weak, right? Actually, grab this building before you come home. And then maybe these guys. And then I'm going to focus on where we're going to put walls. So we've got 108 here. Research center almost built. And shelter almost done. And hopefully we'll get some yield from these soon. So the cookhouse can do its job. Uh, still 34% on those as well. I like to play this slowly, by the way, at start. Because I'm not big enough to uh, warrant worrying about it let's get those builders on that as well let's max that out and let's get the, all the building done and then i'm gonna set up a scavenge for a bit of metal in a moment and what they'll do is grab the street lights so i'll try just kind of this area to start and then that should be 65 steel that is a lot and then next guard tower going in as well i'll set those as just archers as well and then we'll utilize this we just want a couple of towers up to defend early on and we could farm land over here as well. So I'm going to wall here, I think. Building adapted. Lovely. So we've got no homeless now, hopefully. Two. Okay. Oh, there's only seven in that one. Now we get a tower up. I can go ahead and adapt one of these to also be a shelter. So let's do that one. We'll max the building out. So hopefully we can get that done by the next day. And we can keep the satisfied mood here. And there's the research. So we're going to come in. And we're going to go straight into farming here. So I'm going to start that research. That will use two of our books. And then researchers will get themselves in there. So we're on 49 population. Well, 56 if you include the children. And we should get another one growing up each day as well. So we're in a good place. I've got to be careful. Nighttime once more. But almost scavenged here though. Look at this. Look at all this gear they've got now. So I, I, I'm not concerned now. They have a bit of protection here. Just going to slow it down. And we'll send these guys home. So I'm going to use these as our kind of main fighter here. As it gets cold at night, you can see your minus 75% effectiveness because of the cold. You see this little indicator here. Just going to continue scavenging through the night, though. We've got a good amount of weapons and stuff. And we'll just casually do that before the attacks come. Let's dump off all this gear. And I'll probably get it assigned to these guys, to be fair. I think maybe these. All right, so they're back at home. I'm going to get them to drop this off and they'll pick up the gear there. Look, lovely. Oh, I feel a bit a bit safer by getting the protective gear. Could do with a second car, though. And hopefully a bunch more ammo. So as you can see, one crate contains 100 bullets. So we've got uh, 3,300 bullets spare. And each time you send them out, you've got this here. You'll see they have a this green bar. This will slowly go down as they start shooting as well. So you'll see it on that one. None of them are shot, so we're fine. So I'm just going to start planning where I'm going to put the gates, by the way. So, do we want a metal gate? Very durable. Wooden is allows you to freely walk and block the passage through the palisade. Heavy gate allows you to pass through. That's 20 steel. That's a metal fence. Obviously, we're going to need the gate. I don't know whether I want to spend the steel on it. We're going to have to go wooden gate. 
And I kind of want it on the road like that. So that's fine by me. We'll get that one built. And they do actually assign guards to them as well. And then I think I'll wall through this bit here. I'll cut off here. That should be more than enough space to build early on. I don't want to do too much. And you can palisade like this. And they will break that stuff down. So I'll slowly just do that. Then we'll just scavenge through the night. They're slowly grabbing some goods, which is nice. And then we'll just click in the weather forecast here. Okay, it's a bit, <laughs> bit chilly on a June. Now into July, though, the first morning. We can slow it down once more. They should go back to uh, working. So let's continue to grab what we can from around here. And there we go. Find a prepper fallout shelter. Hello. <gasps> I've never found this. Very nice. That's great. Oh, my God. Get all this stuff, please. That is so much food. Grab all this, mate. That's what you need. Fill the car up. Take those AKs for yourself. You become an absolute beast now, so we want you guys to grab this, please. Right, offload then. So they'll come back and offload. And then their main thing is just to continually go and grab all that. Beautiful. You can put the AK in the tower. It has better range and stuff too, by the way. But yeah, we'll try our best here. So let's keep going with builders. I'm going to go down to 15 scavengers because we've got enough wood, I think, for what we're trying to build. And then research is coming in as well. Perfect. Did we get our... See, there's no homeless again. That tower's done, so I'm going to put those onto bows. <laughs> that fully unloaded, man. Loads of fuel. Loads of stuff, man. 12 grain, too. That's a lot of food. So finding that prepper shelter is not really a very good place for that. I guess down in the basement. Right, we just do this. So we swap out the, uh, the gun for that, and that should... Grab that there. Let's grab the last of these in there, please, guys. Bring that home. That's We've got enough for all of that. And there we go. We'll bring those home. Research has completed, so farming is a bit more efficient. Let's go straight into here with the books. Tools we're okay on at the moment. Do we want the basic antenna? That kind of gives us more story options, but we do need to be careful. Med bay could be pretty good. Maybe arms. I want to get down into these. How much do they cost? 12. Holy crap. Assault rifles, 10. I think we could do that. Just get into early weapons. Good weapons. Just looking at this. So what does chemistry kind of give us? Arms factory allows you to produce ammunition. Tell you what, let's go that way. Chemistry into ammunition. We'll just keep searching for weapons. We're going to try our best to get as much building done as we can. So I'm just going to reduce this all the way down. Keep a little bit of scavenging going. And then we'll get the rest building. So I want to start this as well. Right, I'm going to send this unit in the car back down. So we're going to come, I think, for some of these. There's more stuff there, but the research items down here. We just get a bunch of those early. I don't know whether I just want to focus some of the bigger buildings, though. I think I'm going to try this. Leisure center here. Let's see what it has. If we zoom out, we can go out to some pretty good stuff. Look at all this. We've got loads of books about. And then maybe start collecting meds. All right, we're getting our constructions done, which is nice. The rest should go back into scavengers. We started getting the wall up. Lovely. I've got no perfect way that I know how to play this game. I'm not even going to pretend. I know the basics, and I'm good at city builders, so I'm just figuring it out as I go. S subtle tips are fine. Oh, hello. Subtle tips are fine. i got to be careful with these guys. I might have to pull them out. just going to keep a close eye. Oh, no, we're fine. Yeah, see, the difference on this is crazy. They get so much more done out of it don't they and then we'll just keep a close eye on storage i think we're okay at the moment cookhouse isn't as good as i'd like so i think we need more how quick does it produce i oh, know we found a load of grain actually no we're fine we're fine we're good amount of steel now we're back up to 10 so i've got to figure out where we want our gates as well i think uh, i'm going to come across cut across this bit so what I'm going to do is actually start the wooden palisade here so I know what's up. I think I'm going to just do it here. I think that gives us enough room. No more to find. And then I'll probably just bring it around here. I'll just come and follow the road on that bit so we can use all these buildings. And then the same here. And then maybe cut it through the back there. That's a good space, I think. Oh, here comes the hordes. Let's get everyone in then. Get you guys back. So they're going to go for the tower. This one's only got bow and arrows, so we do need to help it out. I'm just going to get these guys into there. Into the building. We can draw them over. They will damage the tower massively. It does have some pretty good HP. Get in there. 
And then we should be able to shoot with that. Get in there, mate. What are you doing? No, no, no. You get in there. You get in there. Thank you. I've got to keep an eye on these because they're going to get absolutely ruined by these, aren't they? You're not good there. Get inside. Get inside. I'm going to take a beating, but that's okay. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. And then they should be able to kill the tower one there. They've got full stuff. That's the problem. No, we're good. The tower's dealt with it. Let's get them inside then. Bit scrappy by me. I didn't didn't keep an eye on that, but it's okay. They'll wipe that out pretty quick for these two. So, and that tower is it's okay. We could put them on pistols in the morning. But it did fine. We're gonna want to repair this one. To be fair, I'll keep them nearby. We definitely want some more armor. Then is gonna be the play. Just scavenge these so they're kind of together. They're almost done over here. They've got a big horde there, so we've got to be... I'm going to click them into the car if they come over so we can drive off. That's quite a few. Yeah, 11. Let's get back over. We've got hostiles, so maybe come back, guys. Yeah, let's just garrison in there, then. I think these guys are okay here. I'm trying to stockpile as much ammo as I can. That's basically what I'm trying to do. What did these guys get? That was not worth how long that took, I'll be honest with you. Get in the car. Oh, they're attacking the gate. Really? Shoot those guys. That should bring them over. Good. The tower's already starting to attack them with the bow and arrows. They're a bit weak, though. And then I'll pull the car up and they can shoot it, too. Get rid of that nice and quick. Let's go north a little bit, see what we can pick up. There's a load of food there at the kids' play shack. I might check out all these big buildings over here. Let's see what we can pick up on some of these. They are going to have enemies in, though, I think. So we do need to be careful. They're pretty much fully healed, though, but they don't, they've got one AK with these guys. So they should be pretty strong. We'll try the big building after and see how they get on. Just be keeping an eye on these infected over here with these two squads. They're a bit weak, these two, because they took a bit of a beating. So I might have to run them back. I want to gather as much as we can, though. Just pulled another pistol as well. And as much ammo as we can get, the better, right? So I can set up my towers to actually have that. So once this gate's up, I'm probably going to destroy this tower. And then we'll pop a gate there. You can use the buildings, actually, as like a fence, right? Oh, we got attackers coming. Right, let's uh, slow it down. They're going to come from my uh, base. They're aggressive attackers right there. I saw that. All right, day five, though. So we're into August here. All right, we got anyone wait, uh, growing up? Not quite at the moment, so that's fine. Um, scavenge, how are we looking? That's fine. They're only melee, so we could go kill those. Just going to turn this down and max out the builders as much as I can. Which one's that? Okay, we're getting our car. I'll probably deal with these guys. Let's go deal with these. Yeah, we'll just go shoot these up. They're probably going to go garrison. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to drive by them, though. Pow, pow. This is steal their weapons, hopefully. They've only got melee weapons, so... Don't want them to damage the car too much, so we want to be careful. There we go. One left. Should drop a bunch. If they drop anything? No, nothing. That's a shame. All right. A whole lot of building getting completed here. I love it. So basically just clearing out all the buildings nearby that we may encompass on ours. So I'll just grab these guys. And then the one with the car I'm kind of using to go around. I am being wary not to get these guys killed though as well. I don't think they got anything from in there, unfortunately. So I'm going to get them back in the car. Oh no, they haven't even scavenged it yet. They were still doing it. So I'm going to run through these buildings here. Looks like it might take them a while on that one. And research done. Okay, we got nothing left. Going to slow down. So, we can now go into these. So we could go weapons, manufacture that fertilizer. Allows you to produce first process transformation of wood or fuse in chemical plants. So we're going to need a chemical plant at some point. I think I might go into that. I want to basically ramp up food production. Because everyone knows food, food and water in, in an apocalypse would be important, right? So it would be this chemical plant. Yeah, so to unlock fertilizer production or manufacture of synthetic fuels will unlock that one, which is these. Where's this one done? Chemical plant, maybe? Tools factory? Ah, that opens the arms factory. Okay, cool. So I can uh, turn off the research center for a moment and get those guys attached to scavenge. So we'll get all this building done. And then what I'm going to do with these guys 
You guys are scavenging. You're nearly done down there. You're going to take a while over there. I need to send them to the books. Let's see if there's any books further up this way. There's this question mark here. Whole bunch of stuff over there. I think that's the closest one. That one's pretty close. I think that one is closer though. So we're going to send them over there that way afterwards then. So what I'm going to do with these guys once they're done here. No, let's just leave them. I'll deal with it after. And then with that coming in i'm gonna go ahead and grab i think i can get a metal gate now yeah we got enough so i'm gonna pop the metal gate it's weird how it snaps to it oh actually you can build the fence then put the metal gate on interesting it would make sense just to plonk it right here right yeah that makes sense do lose that wood though and then they're grabbing all that let's grab a bit more wood so we'll go from these sections here but guys, that's going to be where I end out episode one. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. If you aren't already, please do subscribe. Hit that thumbs up as well. I do all things Let's Play of any kind of colony city builders. That's what I do here. So let me know your thoughts and welcome yourselves in if you're new as well. As always, guys, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.